The function of the cooling system is to keep the engine within a designated temperature range. It also removes excess engine heat resulting from the combustion process and heat from other sources such as the engine oil cooler. Liquid cooling systems generally use a coolant composed of a mixture of water and antifreeze. The coolant circulates through water passages, sometimes called water jackets, which surround the hot, hot areas in the engine. The 466 includes a radiator and a fan, not depicted in this diagram. It also includes a water pump. On this engine, the water pump is belt driven and is set into the front cover. This front cover incorporates two separate passages. One passage to channel coolant to the block from the pump. The other is a bypass route for coolant when the thermostat is closed. The 466 also includes an oil cooler and a thermostat control. Thermostat operation. When the engine coolant temperature is below operating temperature, the coolant flows through the bypass passage back to the water pump because the radiator outlet port is blocked. As the engine reaches operating temperature, the thermostat opens, directing coolant towards the radiator. This also closes the bypass opening. The 466 has an oil cooler. As the oil moves through the cooler, the heat from the oil is absorbed by the coolant. The coolant moves through the oil cooler and exits at the water pump to be remixed with the incoming coolant from the radiator. Coolant flows from the bottom of the radiator into the water pump. The impeller of the water pump pushes the coolant through the front cover passage and out to the block. An internal passageway in the block directs the coolant from the front to the rear and to the oil cooler via an exterior tube. The angle at which the coolant is directed to the cylinder sleeves creates an upward swirling motion toward the cylinder head. Coolant exits through passages in the block located at the top of each cylinder sleeve bore. Coolant is directed through the cylinder head, around exhaust valve areas, and to the thermostat. Depending on the temperature of the engine, the thermostat directs coolant to the water pump via the bypass passage or to the radiator. The radiator can be a vertical flow or a cross flow design. The central core may be one piece or multi piece designs. Most radiators have a single pass process where coolant flows through the radiator core in a single cycle. Another variation is the low flow or multi pass radiator depicted in this diagram. Coolant flows first in one direction and then the opposite direction through separate cooling sections of the core. Because of this process, coolant stays in the radiator longer, therefore a greater cooling effect occurs. Ha 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 ha.